folks, it's Brian Halstead again with some thoughts from the road. Today's story that I want to share with you actually occurred last night, and we'll just uh, we'll, we'll title this video Authentic and Effective Communication. And the, uh, the story goes like this. I had, a, uh, had a, a lady contact me yesterday, a friend of mine, that uh, is interested in having a commitment ceremony with the, uh, the gentleman that she's in a relationship with. And she asked me if I would be willing to officiate for this ceremony. And I thought, wow. Uh, on the list of things that I didn't really think I would be asked to do, um, this was like the top of the list. In fact, it was the only thing on the list because I had to start making the list. Um, but at any rate, I thought it was cool. And I was very, I am very honored and flattered to even be asked to do such a thing. So it, it's definitely something I'm, I'm going to do and uh, very excited to do. So last night I'm having a conversation with my wife. And uh, I guess I didn't really think this out all that thoroughly. Uh, or it made sense in my head. But what I said with, to my wife when I started to, trying to share this conversation with her was this. Hey, a friend of mine, this lady that I know, asked me to marry her. And then I, you know, continued to try to explain the scenario a little bit. And my wife started getting irritated. And uh, she started asking questions about, well, who is this woman? You know, how old is she? What does she do? How do you know her? And I'm thinking, well, that's kind of odd. You know, I, in my head, I'm, I'm thinking how honored and, and flattered I am about this request. <laughs> and I have no idea that what I've said to my wife is that another woman has asked me to marry them. Because that's not what I was thinking in my head. But that's exactly what I said to her. <laughs> and once that little, you know, switch was, was flipped and I realized what I'd said, I was like, oh, oh my goodness. All right. Well, now I understand why you're uh, you're reacting the way you are. And, you know, I mean, she was having one of these these, uh, these Ralph Mercer kind of uh, kind of responses, you know. Well, how big a girl are you? Because uh, I'm going to come down there and open up a can of woman. <laughs> so, at any rate, I just thought that was a uh, an interesting little personal experience that I'd like to share with with you guys because you know communication is everything, and uh, I absolutely believe in communicating authentically and at the same time. <laughs> You gotta be careful to make sure that not only is it authentic, but it's actually correct and, uh, and you're communicating in an effective manner so that your message is, uh, is being made clear and you don't have uh, things happen like what happened to me last night where I ultimately told my wife that somebody else had asked me to marry them. <laughs> my thought from the road for the day, enjoy the ride.